I knew something had to be changed. I knew something had to change. I knew I needed to change. Luckily, there were a few things that I had explored around that time, one of which was masculine initiation. Uh, when I really discovered that I didn't have the strength to overcome my attachment, some people say marijuana is not addicting, but I'm not so sure, but maybe it was an attachment. When I couldn't overcome my attachment, I started seeking and I saw it in many different areas. Uh, we're going to talk about a few of those areas now, but one of which was the discovery of this pattern of masculine initiation that happens for a man, whether he knows it, likes it or not, or whether or not the world recognizes or facilitates it. You could say that I was sort of in an early midlife crisis. That's the term that they use in our culture because they don't understand the prize that's on the other side of a quote unquote crisis. But essentially, I was going through a phase of death and rebirth. And this is not something that just happens once or twice. It happens multiple times in a man's life. It may happen on a predictable pattern, like a clock, certain age, but it also could be kicked into gear early or in the middle of a phase. It could happen at any time. For me, it was both chronological, it was the right time, it was a time in my life, but it was also kicked off by my pride. Anytime there's a vice or there's a hang up or there's an addiction that you can't get rid of, just know that Christ allows that into your life. And it may be because he knows that there is a worse vice hiding behind the obvious vice that needs to be recognized. God allows that in your life so that you can you can uproot that, so you can uproot that pride or that other deeper sin within your character, the position of your heart. You know, sometimes it's not so much what we're, we're doing with our hands and our and our flesh, it's what's behind that, what's the position of our heart. And so he was trying to expose this position of my heart, this wrong set position of my heart. Even the sense of saying, I deserve something, right? Those of you who I think many of you, most of you, probably familiar with that sense, especially when it comes towards abuse uh, or, or substance use. I deserve this. That's how it starts. Well, anyway, I started to recognize that it was a uh, it was being called into my life. That's right. I think God allowed me to fall down that rabbit hole of vice to bring up this new, this crisis so that there would be this death and rebirth in my personal life. And I want you guys to put yourself in my shoes also too, uh, if you're struggling right now. The reason why I tell my story is not so that you know more about me, but so that you may be able to reflect on you, where you are in your life, and how you may be struggling with the sin of pride or any other uh, anger perhaps, right? It, all, it seems like pride is the foundation for almost all of them because if you're anger, usually there's a lot of uh, justification for your anger. But anyway, the deeper sin, the deeper eff effeminate, weak, dark, heavy, emasculated character that's screaming to be recognized and to be rectified and dealt with, right? And so if you're dealing with something, if you're dealing with a vice, you're drinking too much, smoking too much, overeating. We live in a world that's so funny that like if you're an alcoholic and you're trying to quit drinking, they will tell you don't have another sip of, of, of liquor or whiskey or whatever, right? Don't drink it because it's a slippery slope. But yet we almost overlook eating addiction as a legitimate thing. If you're fat, you know what they tell you? Eat less. You don't tell an alcoholic, drink less. You don't tell him, oh, just have drinks on Friday. Why do we tell obese people that it's okay to keep eating? You got to fast, bro. We're going to get into that in a moment. But anyway, so whatever it is, you know what? You know what's a big one, fellas? And it's mostly with the younger dudes? Filthy viewing, watching porn, PMO. Rubbing your genie, watching those bad videos on the screen. That's, that may seem like it's an outward sort of sin, but it destroys your physiology. And many of you guys know this now. You're the first generation that has seen how bad porn is because you got it unlimited. It destroys your brain. You know it destroys your brain. It destroys your hormones. Drinking, drugs, overeating, overworking, that's another one, right? We got a sense of pride for putting, our, putting it in there, 
putting in our time, right? Uh, I, I was definitely doing that. All these things numb us or hide us from what's underneath and what needs to be dealt with. It also can be used as a catalyst for what needs to be dealt with. So anyway, I'm trying to bring this uh, to you so that you know I'm not just talking about me. We're all fallen in some way. And so here's me being objective and vulnerable with you about me and weed. If you're a high achieving businessman, executive or entrepreneur who's dominating in business but struggle with drinking, drugs, overeating, or any filthy vice, here's some advice. The biggest mistake that you could make is to try to quit cold turkey and use willpower to overcome your cravings. If you've ever quit for a few days or a few weeks only to self-sabotage by binging worse than before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not only has my company helped thousands of men destroy vice and dominate life, I've personally confronted and overcome the same struggles when I found myself hooked on weed at the peak of my business career. If you've got four minutes to listen to a coach who will help you achieve total self-mastery and control over your inner punk, then listen up. If you don't beat drinking, drugs, or any life-draining dependency in 90 days or less, not only will my company give you your money back, we'll pay for your first month's stay at a rehab retreat of your choice. That's what you need to succeed. So let's go, bro. Just visit waronvice.com, fill out an application, and my team will get back to you with the details. Hope to see you on the inside. Done.